Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and we are uh, working on our own stuff this weekend. So it's pretty exciting. We're going to be bringing you guys updates uh, throughout this video on what we are working on on the Tramp and Mikey's Camaro. Uh, in the last video, if you haven't seen it yet, you guys saw the update on Smokey Joe. Uh, just really quick, before we cut to the intro, the engine and driveline are in it. So it's going pretty well. Uh, and you guys will see more on this in a separate video, not too much in this one. But Q intro. All right, so we're super excited to bring you guys the updates that we talked about on the Tramp. It is looking amazing, and I'm really excited for two reasons. One. It looks sick and it really shows um, the help that we get from the people who help us out like Larry at ASSC, uh, dad helping us, uh, allow, or I should say allowing us to do this to his car. Uh, and then Dan and I obviously hustling our balls off to get this car done on the weekends to get it ready for this year. And uh, two, these changes have sparked a new interest in my father in this car and he's like the most excited that he's been about this car in a long time and being that we built this car originally with him um it just it just brings the full circle as to why we do this and why we love doing this so much so really happy that dad's excited about it um so anyway let's let's get into what we're doing you can see that the engine's still apart uh, i'm trying to avoid this section right here for a second so we have the intake manifold off we have a, a valve spring off we're going to test the valve spring and this is the crown jewel of this year's program upgrades. This bad mamma jamma right here. I'll put some pictures up so you guys can kind of see some of the differences from the new to the old, or the old to the new. Uh, but this is now a D1X upgrade that we got from Procharger. We sent in our D1SC and got a D1X in return with a bell mouth. Uh, and we're going to be pulling it the same. So it's still got like a seven and some change lower, the smallest three, four, eight rib upper. And now with the bell mouth, and we're hoping to see about 25, 26 pounds with this setup now. So this car should be making well north of 1200 horsepower at the flywheel with this combination. Uh, assuming that the Magna Fuel 750 that we just put in it supports this. So whatever that 750 will make on the 85, the rest of the car is going to make, cause that's going to be the new limiting factor. Uh, so we're going to be bringing you guys an update throughout today on getting the rest of this engine updated and uh, putting everything on here and you guys will see all the finishing touches. Uh, Bullseye Customs, who we use for a lot of our powder coating on the smaller bits, came through at 1 a.m. last night and got us the lower intake manifold done, which is going to be beautiful. And the upper manifold, which I just put the cap on, and they redid all this. It's got like a metallic black finish with... Uh, obviously, they polished up the Victor for us. All this stuff underneath the hood is going to look so sexy. Um, if you guys remember last year, maybe you don't, but everything was just kind of rough in here. I mean, it looked good, and right now it looks like a mess because nothing's tucked away. But uh, once this thing's cleaned up and all the new pieces are on it, it's going to look show car finish in here. So we're pretty excited. So that's what's going on with the Tramp. Uh, I'll show you guys briefly what's going on with Mikey's car. With his new V brake upgrade that he did recently. But uh, this one's getting the engine pulled out of it. It's just really noisy. Uh, it's, it's hopefully gonna get a good health check, uh, but really we wanna go through the valve train. We, I don't wanna say we don't know the history of the car. We do know the history of the car and it's not good. So we were gonna just kinda go through it, make sure it's ready for this season. Uh, Mikey's ready to go a little bit faster with it, put a tire on it and uh, maybe a little bit of nitrous or turbo. So we're gonna we're debating on what we want to do with it right now. So we, we might go with Holly and kind of start setting it up for success in the future, or we're going to freshen it up and send it as is while eliminating some of the hack work on it, like the exhaust that was welded from tip to stern that's now cut out of it because that was trash. But you guys will see uh, this motor out today, maybe even torn down, start seeing what, what's inside. Uh, we're fingers crossed it doesn't look like the inside of Anthony's motor because that was not good. But <laughs> we're making progress on that. You guys will see that coming up uh, next week, what, what the motor's gonna end up being in that combination. 
Uh, so some of the other updates that are done on the Tramp. We went to an HVC, a big bad boy coil. Uh, had a bracket made here. Dan got it all mounted. Everything's super solid. Uh, once again, you guys probably didn't see before, but it had a small coil here, and then the mounts broke, and then it ended up being zip-tied on most, most of the year. So now this thing is awesome. We got a huge catch can for it to increase the capacity. You guys saw that in the last video from the bottom, uh, but now you can see it up top. We got the couple filters on there. It's pretty, really solid. It ain't going anywhere. A uh, lot more capacity, and then we redid all the MSD stuff while we did the coil. So it turned out awesome. Yeah, should be no we're gonna, wires over here yeah, we're gonna hide a couple more of these wires in the fender well. This area is gonna look good. Obviously, we're gonna have that powder coated black alternator now. And uh, yeah, we're just getting ready to put the intake manifold on, but I want to show you guys how this is coming together before you guys just see the end product. So we got gaskets for it. We get the lower on. I'm gonna get the injectors and the rails in it first and drop that on there. And then uh, she should be ready to assemble. It's gonna look sweet though. Fast forward, 15 minutes. All right, so we are making progress. I cannot believe how good this is starting to look in here. Really hope this clears the distributor. Dan and I have a bet, $5. I think it's gonna have an interference problem, but we will see. I hope not, because it looks really good. But uh, everything's bolted down. There's no gaskets here. I'm waiting for those to come in, but it'll be close enough. Blower's on, intake is on, lower intake is done. Um, so that's all good. Injectors are in it. New fuel rails, all black. Looking so sweet. You can hardly see the detail of them. Twenty minutes later, she's out. <laughs> the remains. Record time. Sweet headers, whole exhaust need to get cut off. So those are gone, those are leaving. But otherwise you just gotta do a general health check on it. You know, take the rest of this apart and start looking at what's inside. Push rod lengths and silly things like that. Make sure it's ready to go back together. Is that an underdrive? Yep. Nice. I say it looks really smart. Well, you probably should be walking over there. So both red cars are going swimmingly well. We are gonna start working on the aluminum tubing on the red car for the charge piping um, and getting the Camaro back to a roller status. Uh, but so far, it's going just as you'd expect. So we're gonna bring you guys an update once we actually start working on stuff and showing you what, what some of the differences are and what we find in Mikey's motor. Yeah. We are flying on the intercooler piping on the red car. We're making pretty good progress. Dad's here helping us out now. And, uh, yeah, digging it. Digging it. So it's looking pretty good. Everything's coming together nicely. Uh, we have this kind of mocked up on this side. This side's pretty much done, aside from the blow off valve locate or the blow off valve standoff. Next, we're going to locate the van gen fitting that we're going to put in here. There might be some question as to why we're putting this awesome fitting, but still using a rubber coupler on the throttle body. We haven't decided if we're gonna keep it this way or not. So as of right now, this is how it's gonna stay, but we might put a transition and a cone and then put a van one of these on both sides of the throttle body and the cold side. But as of right now, we're gonna leave it like this and we just want this to look nicer than having a silicone coupler through the um, fender well like we had before. So that one's gonna change, but we're still gonna have one silicone coupler up there. Not the end of the world. I always I kinda wanted to use one of these fittings, so it's more for experimental sake. But it's gonna look sweet. Uh, everything's looking black and great. We're gonna end up uh, brushing all this. Maybe we'll go black, I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below. Should we powder coat all the intercooler black or leave it brushed? Um, but we're gonna finish this up. We gotta put a the supercharger blow off valve on. We have to do a intake air temp sensor and then we just gotta finish this corner from the bottom into the uh, fender well. So that's what we're working on. To you I say goodnight. All right, guys, we are just wrapping up the Tramp project for the weekend. Uh, overtime equals personal vehicles. That's what's going on this weekend here at Streetcar. But you guys ready for this? This thing is bad to the bone. Still have a handful of things to do. Um, it's hard for you guys to even see really what's going on here. Just help. 
Maybe a little bit, yeah. Okay. So we still got the alternator coming back from powder. That will allow us to finish that. Uh, some miscellaneous odds and ends on wiring. But for the most part, there we go. For the most part, she's completed. Um, I don't know, we probably got like another two hours worth of work aside from the fuel system before she's ready to fire. But in the engine bay, we probably got about two hours to set the distributor, install the alternator. Um, we're gonna make some kind of trim ring for this badass vibrant clamp. This piping is still all loose. It's just on there just so we can show you guys how it's turning out. Uh, but we wanna make some kind of trim ring since it's had a few variations going through this fender in the past. So now that we can get it centered nice and tight. Powder coating is so sick. There's actually metallic in it, which is badass. Yep, yep, yep. So we took a valve spring off. We're gonna go test that tomorrow. We can put that back on. Probably set up the distributor, start running spark plug wires, tying those up. And uh, got a handful of new spark plugs coming for it. Or they should have came. Yep. And uh, yeah, sweet. Extremely, extremely happy with it. Whoa, almost dropped the camera there. Pro charger is basically back in the same spot. We did it. We were able to tuck the piping up a little bit more so it shouldn't hit the bumper. Definitely doesn't hit the tire. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Three bar map sensor ready for all the boost. No more orange. It's the small things. Yeah, right? Bright black and silver. I think all we're going to end up doing it for this is we're just going to brush it. Probably hit it with like uh, 240 grit sandpaper and then scotch bright it. All right, and that's all I have for you guys in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching us. Hustle uh, these last few days to get this stuff wrapped up. Mikey's motor is in bad shape, but we'll have a separate episode about that later. Uh, but it's not looking good. And uh, the Tramp is basically ready to go back on the lift so we can get the fuel system installed. We can get the front fascia all back on it. Um, Mikey's car is back to a roller. So yeah, Mikey's car is ready to roll out of here. Because uh, it's not going to be leaving under its own power, that's for sure. <laughs> Drove in. Yeah. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. To see more updates on the Tramp and other projects that are going on, we have a crazy next few weeks. Uh, we got the heads from RGR for the NA Coyote build. We'll be showing you guys that next week. They're going to be super sick. Uh, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on, and we're, we're getting better at the YouTube thing, trying to keep the videos coming. So make sure you smash the subscribe button. Check out our next videos. Check out some old videos, and we'll see you guys on the next round of uh, Streetcar Shenanigans YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. Wait, waiting for Dan to whistle. He usually makes a weird noise at the end. Oh, I can't. Caca! <laughs> <laughs>